A screen patch is used for places where structural strength and aesthetic perfection are not as important. Unlike a pumpkin patch, a screen patch does not sit into the wall, so a bump will be somewhat visible on the wall after the patch is made. A closet is a good example of an ideal place where a screen patch would be used. To use a screen patch, there are several materials and tools that will be needed. The materials needed are a drywall screen to fit the hole, and 45 minute drywall mud. The tools needed are a six inch and a 12 inch taping knife, a wet rag, and possibly a drywall utility knife or saw that can be used to clean the hole if needed. First, place the self-adhesive screen patch over the hole. Next, Mix enough drywall mud to cover the screen patch completely and the surrounding area of the wall. Apply the first coat. Cover the entire patch with drywall mud using the 6 inch taping knife. Scrape off any excess mud that may be left on the wall surrounding the patch at a 30 to 40 degree angle, pressing the outer perimeter of the patch into the wall so that it adheres. The mud will push through the screen to the other side and bond with the wall, creating a sturdy hold. Once the first coat sets, which usually takes about 45 minutes, apply a second coat with a 12 inch taping knife, smoothing continually and covering the screen and wall. Once the second coat sets, apply a third and final coat. Even though this patch is fanned out with a 12 inch taping knife, it will leave behind an edge which will show when the patch is finished if the patch is not feathered into the existing wall. To do this, take a wet rag and thoroughly rub the entire perimeter of the patch, including the front, blending the edge of the new patch with the existing wall texture. Feathering creates a smooth transition between the patch and the wall. A wet rag is used to do this and dissolves the drywall surface in place of sanding it away with a sanding block, which gets drywall dust all over the room and destroys the original wall texture. The new patch should be even with the existing wall and appear to be nice and smooth. Now the patch can be textured to match the previous wall texture. Finally, the wall needs to be primed and painted, and then the project is complete. To learn how to properly apply texture, visit the texture section of this DVD through the main menu, or press the enter button now on your remote control.